ื่นที่ตันจะต้องขึ้นมาสรุปสถานการณ์รายวันเป็นภาษาอังกฤษเพราะว่าอย่างที่น่าจะทราบกันดีค่ะเราก็ไม่เข้าใจเหมือนกันนะคะรัฐบาลนี่ก็ขยันโกหกกันได้ทุกวันเลยค่ะเราถึงต้องออกมาพูดความจริงให้พ่อแม่พี่น้องฟังได้ทุกคืนค่ะพ่อแม่พี่น้องก็ขออนุญาตพูดเป็นภาษาอังกฤษให้กับสื่อต่างชาติแล้วก็พ่อแม่พี่น้องชาวต่างประเทศนะคะที่อาศัยอยู่ในประเทศไทยของเรา Ladies and gentlemen to all our foreign press and media and our experts today the National Anti-Corruption Commission NACC decided to conduct hearing against Ying l a k s h i n a w a t in connection to corruption in the rice pledging scheme to see if she was negligent in her duties as chair of National Rice Police Committee. This is one of many corruption schemes that this government has carried out during its term. Farmers from five lower northern and central provinces will march into the capital in the next few days if their demand for the rice payment still is not met by the government. Farmer leader g i t i s a k r a t a n a w a r a h o n president of the Na network of northern farmers, said farmer from Pitit. นครสวรรค์สุโขทัยกำแพงเพชรแอนพิษณุโลก will march into the capital with their farm trucks. They are coming not to demand for money anymore, but to outstate Ying l u x government. The PDRC activities this morning. PDRC n o n t a b u r i and central provinces rallied at Ministry of Public Health. Requesting all state officials to stop working. Metropolitan Electricity Authority, the MEA, labor union members rallied in front of the MEA headquarters at Plenjit. e g n a t p r o m h a n spokesperson for the PDRC, revoked caretaker labor minister c h a l o m Yubamrung today. For miraculously slandering innocent civilians, donating cash and provision to the PDRC, Shalom's accusation of public redonations of money for the PDRC Secretary General s u t e b t u k s u b a n to the public, then back again to s u t e b All the money donated were given. Wholeheartedly to support r a c h a d a m n e r n and now b a t u m w a n Kitchen, the government constant misinformation to the general public with lies to discredit the PDRC movement still continues. The PDRC's gratitude to the general public for giving so much so freely. All of our operations are publicly and voluntarily funded by the goodwill of our citizens, who are determined to eradicate the taxing regime, unseat his shameless government, and undertake critical reforms before the next election. Any assistance by the PDRC to help the public achieve its objectives. Are also freely provided, such as food, medical attention, and security. The caretaker government is fully aware of this, yet continues attempt to discredit the PDRC and innocent protesters. Its efforts would be much better spent on finding those responsible for violently attacking peaceful. And law-abiding citizens, in particular, those responsible for the in, for the injuring and causing the death at Ramkhamhang University, Thai Japanese Youth Center, Dindang, and the anti-government protest sites are still at large. The government's attempt in using social media 
to discredit the PDRC by forging pricing announcements for PDRC services, for example, accusing the guard of charging each vehicle 200 baht for PDRC security service near Jatujak and Lad Prao stage. This is completely untrue. The PDRC has always operated and will continue to operate freely of charge for the public good. More violent attacks late last night on the PDRC protesters and core leaders. Two bombs were thrown at security guards of anti-government protesters in Ladpau intersection. And gunshot was spread was sprayed at the protesters near Shaimaruched Bridge in Dusit area late last night. Fortunately, no one was hurt. A hand grenade was thrown into the house of Kun Isara Somchai. Kun Suteb Tursuban revealed the growing bombs and guns attack was well organized by senior police officers. He said the attack was meant to intimidate protesters, but vowed that the protesters would not fear any such violence, threats, and will continue to protest peacefully and will not retaliate. Kun Suteb Tursuban is thankful to all our provincial PDRC's units and the Thai people for joining and supporting our movement. He asked for the provincial PDRC's units to stay alert if the government still refuses to resign from power. We will ask all of our provincial PDRC's units to shut down their provincial town halls. Lastly, we want to thank you, all media, for supporting us and reporting our news. Through you, we were able to show the world our true strength and what the people are really asking for is a reform before election. For that, we are most grateful. Thank you again. Thank you. How are you, Mr. Pong? Is it still the same as before? อย่างที่พี่เอ่อผู้ใหญ่บ้านสาธิตบอกนะคะเราไม่สามารถที่จะปรับแอร์ได้เลยเย็นอย่างนี้ทุกคืนดีจริงๆนะคะพ่อแม
รัฐบาลชุดนี้ทําได้ทุกอย่างจริงๆเพื่อจะยึดอํานาจไว้เป็นของตนเองรัฐบาลใช้อํานาจคุกคามและทําร้ายประชาชนมาโดยตลอดนี่คือปัญหาของระบอบทักษิณเพราะยังมีขี้ข้าในระบอบทักษิณที่ยังรับใช้รัฐบาลชั่วชั่วอย่างนี้อยู่ค่ะพ่อแม่พี่น้องวันนี้เราถึงต้องลุกขึ้นมาไล่และโค่นล้มระบอบทักษิณให้หมดสิ้นไปจากประเทศไทยของเราค่ะอย่าพึ่งท้ออย่าพึ่งถอยเรามาไกลมากแล้วเราต้องสู้ต่อไปค่ะพ่อแม่พี่น้องขอเป็นกำลังใจให้กับทุกท่านในค่ำคืนนี้และวันอื่นๆอีกต่อไปค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะ